everyone. Today I will be sharing with you what's in my teacher bag. Alright guys, so this video has been very highly requested and I'm getting ready for school tomorrow and I just kind of wanted to stop and show you guys what I keep in my teacher bag. So the teacher bag that I use is this bag from Target. It was $39.99 and I've been staring at this bag for probably two or three months and I finally went ahead and bought it. I've been waiting to buy it just because I was like, well, I'll just use my 31 bag for a little bit longer. But I, and I love my 31 bags. Trust me, I have a ton of them. I love them. They have saved me from day one of teaching, but I was ready for an upgrade and something that looked a little bit classier and just kind of went with all of my outfits. So I went ahead and picked up this $39.99 bag from Target and I'm going to show you the features of this beautiful, beautiful bag. So first of all, this bag has a front zipper pouch. This is where I keep my cell phone. I actually do take my phone out at school because we are a texting school. So that means the other teachers and the principal and I all are able to text one another in case there is a behavior issue or if we need them right away in the classroom. So that is something that we do at our particular school. My last school was not like that. We were not allowed to have our phones out. So really it just depends on the school that you're at. But when I'm on my way to and from school, I do keep my phone in this pouch. It fits perfectly. And I actually have a Samsung Galaxy S7 an edge so it's a large phone and this pocket still fits it which is really really nice I absolutely love the black and gold of this bag it's just very feminine very classy and it goes with everything like I said Woo! my arms getting tired all my teacher stuff is in here I'm getting like an arm workout doing some bench presses over here Woo! okay so what really stood out to me about this bag is that it is kind of square or rectangle shaped it does not have edges Ooh. It does not have edges that are kind of rounded up. It's very squared off, which is something that I've been looking for for quite a long time. I knew I wanted a black bag because I really love the color black, to be honest, and I just think it really goes with any outfit during any season, and it just looks very put together and feminine and nice. And honestly, depending on the bag, it tends to look more expensive than it actually is. I don't think that this bag looks like a $39.99 bag. I think it actually looks more expensive. So just not that it really matters, but just throwing it out there. This bag has both hand straps and these actually will fit around your shoulder um, as well as the long strap. This is an adjustable long strap on top as well. So this I actually use when my bag is really heavy. These I tend to use when my bag is a little bit lighter. I usually keep the same items in my bag from day to day, but every once in a while I will bring home some teacher manuals or things just so I can do my lesson planning at home. And when I do that, I tend to use this longer strap rather than the short straps, but I love that it has the option for both. This long strap also comes off if I want it to, which is really nice. They also have this bag in kind of a camel color as well, so if you're looking for something that will kind of go with some spring outfits and maybe is a little bit lighter, if you don't enjoy the color black, then they do have the camel one as well if you're looking for a new teacher bag. All right, so I'm gonna kind of tip the bag just so you can kind of see it from the top view, and you will notice that it has two long zippers one at the back and one at the front, which anything with zippers is right up my alley. And then of course it has to close in some way or another because if not, my teacher bag will spill and everything will go all over the floor. So this particular bag has a magnetic snap right here to keep all of my stuff inside my bag so that if my bag does tip over, nothing will fall out. That is a super important feature and I have to have something like either this or a zipper closure on every single teacher bag that I own or else I will not use it. Now that you have seen my beautiful, beautiful, lovely teacher bag, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and show you what's inside. So first I'm gonna start off with this first zipper pouch and inside my first zipper pouch, this is where I keep my crossbody bag. So I always have some sort of crossbody bag in my bigger teacher bag because it's nice to kind of just grab if I have to like run into the store after school on my way home from work, I can just grab my crossbody bag and this is what I take into the store to go shopping. I never carry my full teacher bag because honestly I would have like a shoulder ache or a backache by the time I got home because it just, there's too much stuff. So I always keep a crossbody bag and this one is from Coach. My husband got this for me for my birthday, I think maybe two years ago. So very, very sweet. I love this crossbody bag. It has done me well for these past few years actually. Inside of my crossbody bag, I have my wallet, some gum. I always keep gum. I just never chew it in front of the kids, but I always have gum either in my teacher bag or at my desk in the classroom. Some chapstick, my car keys, and I do not keep a lot of keys on my car keys because I cannot stand to have that many keys. This is super small, 
super easy to grab in the morning and it's just ready to go. And then I always have my flash drive. This has almost all of my teaching documents on it. I do have a lot of my computer as well, but I try to keep my main things that I use a lot on a flash drive in my purse all the time. That way if I need to go ahead and print something off at school and I didn't email it to myself or something, it's already ready to go. Highly recommend that you get some kind of jump drive or flash drive to carry in your purse or teacher bag at all times just in case because as teachers, you really never know. So that is all I keep in my crossbody bag. I'm gonna zip that up and put it back. I try to keep everything nice and neat. I cannot stand, stand, stand cluttered bags or purses. And I just, that's just not how my brain works. I have to have everything in its specific spot. And if it's not, then I can't like focus or concentrate. I really think organization is key to kind of keeping your head clear and just putting all of your focus on the kiddos. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my back zipper pocket. And inside this pocket, I have my pencil pouch. This is where I keep my pencil pouch. I got this in the Target dollar spot a few weeks ago, actually. I used to just keep my pens kind of in one of the built-in pockets in my bag, but I found that having an actual pouch keeps it a lot neater, and my pens aren't kind of falling out of the pocket, so I have all kinds of things in here. I have Sharpies, markers, pens, pencils, flare pens, regular pens, colored Sharpies, more Sharpies, more flare pens, and of course, Post-its, a teacher always, always, always needs post-its. So I have all kinds of pens and pencils and writing utensils inside my pencil pouch because you never know what you're gonna need and when you're gonna need it. As of right now, that is all I keep in that back zipper pouch because again, I like to keep it simple, nice and clean and I just don't like to carry a lot in my bag. So now let's go ahead and jump into the middle section of my bag. This is where all the fun begins. Okay, so this is just kind of looking at the inside of my bag. You see that I have two pockets that are built in and then I have one big open pocket on the inside. I try to always order my things from largest to smallest. So this item right here is my largest, this is my second largest, and my third largest. That way everything goes down in order. And then over here on the side I have just a little pouch and I'll show you guys what's inside there. So right here I actually have my teacher badge and keys. I keep it on my Brighton lanyard right here that my mom got for me a couple of years ago. And right here I always keep some kind of granola bar or a snack just in case I run out of food at school or if I forget to pack a lunch or something like that. I have snack right there ready to go always, always. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my camera back up and then I will show you guys what I have right here. Okay, so starting with my largest item first, I have this notepad. I found this actually at TJ Maxx. I think it was only $5.99. And really, it's just a pad folio. So it has this little strap. I thought this was so pretty, the blue with the pink. So when you open it up, you have a notepad. And the nice thing about this is that it's refillable. So once you fill up the notepad that it comes with, you can actually just purchase any legal pad from any store and it will slide right inside. The back cardboard piece just kind of slides right on the inside and then you have your new notepad. So this can be used for a very long period of time. It also has a little pocket right over here that you can just stick whatever you need to in. I actually had a piece of paper over there and then I took it out for this video just because there were some personal things on there, but you can keep whatever you want inside and I love the fact that it's refillable. I actually made my name right here with my Silhouette Cameo and some white vinyl. It was super easy. It literally took me like four minutes to make and I think it just adds a little bit more character to this. I always have a notepad no matter what bag I'm using because I never know when I'm going to just need to kind of jot something down. I am a girl who writes down everything. I try to type out some things as well, but really I always end up going back to paper and pencil. Super cute and super affordable. TJ Maxx. The next thing that I have in my bag is this accordion file from Walmart. I believe this was $5.97 or somewhere around there. It was under $6 at Walmart and I think this is such a cute pattern. I'm really digging all of the mint lately and this can definitely carry over into spring. And I'm gonna show you what's inside. So inside I have all kinds of tabs just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a visual. I have today, this week, copy grade file, third grade, so things just specific to third grade, special education, behavior. I do have some students on individualized behavior plans and a lot of meetings for those students, so I keep their things in there. And then I do have some personal things in here as well because I keep it in my bag. And my bag really isn't just a teacher bag. I keep a lot of personal things in there as well, whether it's in here or written on my notepad. 
So I have finances, receipts, YouTube, and other. So other could be really anything else that kind of just doesn't fit in that category that I want to keep safe and sound and keep it from getting lost. I think that this is one of the best tools that you can have inside your teacher bag because it just keeps all of your loose papers from being shoved inside your bag because trust me, I learned the hard way because I would go home and I would have all of these crumpled papers at the bottom of my bag, things that I had to grade or maybe a to-do list and I'm like, ah! this is wrinkled and I don't know where this is or where this belongs. So this has been my lifesaver. I highly, highly recommend you get one of these, even if you're interning right now or student teaching. Go ahead and pick up one of these either from Walmart or sometimes they even have these in the Target dollar spot. I personally chose this one because it has 13 tabs, whereas the ones at the Target dollar spot, I think maybe only have about seven or eight. I wanted to make sure everything was in one place, so I went for the 13 tab one from Walmart. And of course, in my teacher bag, I carry around my very best friend. Yes, you heard that right, my very best friend, my planner. This is the Recollections Planner from Michaels and it is incredible. This is my favorite planner that I have ever owned. It is incredible, it's beautiful, and oh my goodness guys, if you do not have a planner already for 2017, I highly recommend the Recollections Planner from Michaels. I believe this one is the nine by 11 and a half. This is the larger planner and it is the horizontal version. Let me just kind of give you a glimpse into what my life looks like inside. So right now I haven't really done anything cute for February yet for my monthly spread, but I did buy a lot of stickers from Etsy and I plan on making this cute very, very soon. And then just a quick peek, quick peek inside my life right here. This is my planner. It is not very cute, but it is my life saver and it just, it doesn't have to be super cute. It just has to work and keep me organized. Another thing I love about this planner is that back here it has a pocket. So this is actually where I do some things for school. Not necessarily full lesson plans, but this is where I kind of jot down some things that I have upcoming that week. So maybe what unit we should be on in math, what unit we should be on in reading, and then if I have any like IEP meetings or anything like that, I go ahead and just jot them in here and then I go back and fill them in on my lesson plans and or in my planner depending on what it is. And then in the back I keep this cute little journal. I actually got this from my mother-in-law for Christmas and it says, believe in yourself. And inside this is where I actually keep my three positive things a day. This is something I actually started at the beginning of the school year when I went back after the winter break. What I do is I just write down three positive things that happened that day. I do have a challenging class this year and this has really helped to keep my head leveled and just to keep me motivated to do my very best in the classroom with those kiddos every single day. So I, what I do is I just write down three positive things, the date, and then I choose three things from that day to write down. This is an incredible way to stay motivated, especially if you're new to teaching. Maybe it's your first year and you're having kind of a tough time. You know, first year teaching is hard. Teaching in general is hard work. I mean, people think it's so easy, guys. It is not easy. It is not easy. This is the, these are the kinds of things that we have to do in order to stay motivated and push through those difficult times and really be the best person we can for those kiddos. If you don't have a journal of some sort or you don't write down your three positive things a day, this is a great way to do it. Just stick it in your planner and it's always with you no matter where you go. It's a great way to kind of remind yourself that yes, there are good things that are happening each and every day and it just kind of allows you to take a moment and to reflect on the day, to reflect on what you're doing as a teacher and it proves that what you're doing is working and that everything's gonna be okay. So I love my planner from Michaels, it is the best. So I don't have anything in here right now, but there is a little zipper pocket back here in the back. If I am using it, I usually keep my phone charger back there, but right now I don't have it. I don't take that every day, so that's just kind of there if I need to use it. And the last thing that I keep in my teacher bag is a little makeup bag, and it says stash, so really this could be for whatever you want. I got this at TJ Maxx, and it's shiny and gold, and I absolutely love it. So this could be your pencil pouch, this could be your makeup bag, this could be just where you keep all kinds of little odds and ends, which I do have a few in here actually. But I'm gonna show you what's in my little baggie that says stash. So first I keep some placards and some Q-tips just in case I have any food in my teeth after lunch. I don't know why I keep Q-tips, I just, I always need my ears to feel clean. Is that weird? I don't know. I know they're not good for you, but I keep them in there anyway. I do have some deodorant just in case I need it. I don't know, usually I don't, but it's there just in case. I do keep some makeup in here just in case I need to touch up while I'm at school, so I have some powder. I just use this CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder. And of course, just with a powder brush. 
I have my mascara. A girl's gotta have her mascara. Some pink lip gloss. Some more chapstick. Can you tell I'm addicted to chapstick? Some ibuprofen. I always keep some kind of ibuprofen or headache medicine inside my bag, but I do make sure that it's where the kids cannot get to it. So they do not know what's in there. It's nice and deep in the bag and they would not be able to get to it. There are some days where I need to go ahead and just have this on hand just in case I do have a headache. And last but not least, a lint roller. Now this one I have not opened, but I do keep one kind of in my car. I have some at home. We have a big dog. He is a lab boxer mix and he sheds a lot a lot. So I do keep a lid roller in my teacher bag just in case I need that when I'm at school. In case I notice that I have dog hair all over my black pants or my dress or something, I can just quickly wipe it off. Now to be completely honest, I haven't opened this because really the kids don't really care. If anything, it strikes up a conversation about dogs and pets and whoever else they have at home. So I really haven't used this. Whoops. Before we go, I wanna take a moment to show you what I take my lunch in when I go to school. I always pack my lunch. I don't go anywhere or leave the school for lunch because for one, it gets expensive. Secondly, I just don't think that I would enjoy lunch that way. I would always feel rushed to kind of get back to school on time before my kids were done with lunch. And then what if it was snowy out? What if I got in an accident? I just, I can't do that. So I always take my lunch to school. And this is not a thermal tote. This is actually just a regular small tote from 31. And it has my nickname on it, Jesse. It's my favorite color, which is pink. And I love this 31 bag because it's small and easy to carry. It has two pockets, one on each side that are mesh. I usually keep gum or napkins inside here. And then it's just super small. I just stick my lunch inside. And if I need an ice pack, I use an ice pack, but really, I tend not to need it. I like to eat when the kids are at specials, which is typically in the morning before lunchtime, because it gives me more time to kind of digest my food and relax and really actually enjoy my lunch. Whereas when my kids actually have their lunchtime, by the time I take them to lunch and come back to the classroom after I've checked my box and used the restroom, I really only have about 10 minutes to eat and then I feel too rushed. So really, I find that I don't need an ice pack because I eat fairly early anyway and my food is still cold. I always save my hot meals for dinner. I just, that's just how I like it. I like cold meals for lunch and hot meals for dinner. Then of course I always have some kind of water bottle that I keep at school throughout the week and that way I don't have to take a new one each day. It stays there for the week and then I wash it on the weekends. It doesn't get that dirty. It's, it's all good. So that's all I have for you guys for today. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, please click that subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos. All right guys, see you next time. Bye!